Hi everyone and welcome back and today we are looking at Monster High Scared Ice Island Heath Burns. So we have the whole lineup so far. I know that there's a Laguna playset doll that hasn't been found or hasn't been released yet. But we have the whole lineup ready for like Scared Ice Week. And we're going to start with Heath since he's a new addition and a new boy. And I know a lot of you guys have been really excited to see him. And here he is. Here's the the dark art. Uh, Tony likes the art. I don't know if I like the art. He looks like too much cheek to me. I don't, like, there's just a lot of cheek. You know what I mean? I like that. Like there's so much cheek. It's very plastic surgery looking to me. But I don't know. Maybe you like that. Uh, Heath is actually one of the characters where I'm like very torn because I think his original doll has such a beautiful face sculpt. But I think he has a very, a very beautiful face sculpt too. So I'm like, oh. Also, that, why is Heath been introduced in a Paris? I, I don't know. Like, Especially since he's been in the show since the beginning. And sandals. Yeah. Ugh. Sandals. Sandals. Been, if like his introduction was in the Masquerade Ball with Abby and they're like a two uh, Please, please, please. Uh, I love his um his like name font. It's so cute. Um, according to the show, the devil is his dad. Oh. Uh, was it, what was his dad in G one? He was a fire elemental, oh. but in the show, um, Dracula calls them, mm -hmm. and I think Claudine says, "Speak of the devil," and Frankie's like, "No, Claudine, the devil is Heath's dad," <laughs> and it's just like, "Yeah, girl." Amazing. <laughs> we praise the devil here. Praise Satan. Mm -hmm. This is a joke, by the way. I don't praise anything. Adult channel for adult yeah, this is an adult channel <laughs> for adult collectors. <laughs> uh, for people who keep asking, Tony's my little brother. Oh, yeah. By like nine years. Yeah. Like, I gave birth to him. <laughs> he, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I don't have a uterus, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, did anybody else just want to be pregnant when they were little? Like, I did. Like, <laughs> I sure as well. I did. I was like, I want to be the, uh, I want to I be the giver of life. No. But anyways, here he is. Here's the back of the box. Look how cute he is, though. I think he's so baby girl. Like, <laughs> he, uh, his art, not so much. His doll is very baby girl. Especially when you put him next to Abby, it's like, that's, that's baby girl. <laughs> like, wowza. Um, here's the rest of the gang. Love them. Frankie eating everyone the hell up, I feel. Yeah. They're so gender. Uh, I'm really excited to get to Frankie. I'm scared, because I've seen people that have been saying that she's got Polly, and she's got Saran, so I'm just like, please, oh, let mine be Saran. Reasons. I'm like, please let mine be Saran. Mine has a really, like, C-U-N-T Y face, so I'm just like, oh, just <laughs> please let it be Saran. And then, this is... This is like, uh, he was on Amazon and he was seventeen ninety nine, which is kind of a lot for a, like a budget type doll from Monster High. Monster High budget dolls used to be like twelve ninety nine, mm -hmm. So I'm like, that's kind of a big jump, but you know, he's going to be in stores where they hang them like this. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Take that what you want. So it says the boot crew is ready for a relaxing getaway on Scared Ice Island. I love that. Draculara, Claudine, and Frankie have packed all the trip essentials, including SPF 5000, a hair-raising beach read, and totally electrified smoothies. Even Heath Burns is bringing the tropical heat with his hair blaze with his blazing hair and a fire outfit. This vacation is sure to be filled with surf, sand, and plenty of scary fun ahead. That's, that blurb is on all the boxes. Yeah, it's the same on all of them. And here's his barcode. Again, I don't know where these dolls are going to be showing up because they were on Amazon. I'm hoping, like, all of the budget dolls, like Target, Walmart, I'm hoping because mm -hmm. I really love him and I don't want to get greedy, you know? Mm -hmm. But let's get into it. Scared Us Island right there. Again, they're, let's just go. Let's just, just, this is the best part of, like, the budget dolls. So you can just do this. But also, like... <sighs> Yeah, I just tore the Monster High logo all the way off. <laughs> but I don't know how else they expect us to get me out of to uh, expect me to get him out of here, you know. So we're gonna snip, snip him out of here. He's been going in and out of stock on Amazon. I managed to get him like a couple of weeks ago when he was on pre-order. So like he didn't ship out for a while. And then he just like showed up and I was like, oh, 
Oh, he doesn't. I love when the boy dolls don't do that because I'm just like, oh, cool. You put a hole in my doll that doesn't have hair to hide it. Yeah. Love that for me. There's only three accessories. I think, I don't think Deuce was, was clipped in either. I don't think so either. Which is good. Anyways, let's look at his accessories first because we saved the doll for last. This bag seems so familiar to me. Like, maybe like it's a Barbie sculpt. Like, it see, like, I feel like G2 Frankie had something similar to this. But... I don't know. It's it looks like it's made out of a like a a cotton canvas type material, mm -hmm. and then these like I thought the, I thought it was an original sculpt because I thought the flames were sculpted in, but they're not. They are definitely just painted slash printed on, but it's got painted details, so that's kind of nice. It's the same on both sides besides this and the painting. I guess it's not the same on both sides. Angel, you're dumb. <laughs> and guys. Does this look super familiar to you guys? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's probably a new sculpt, but I don't know. Barbie just craps out so much stuff that, like, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Mattel just reused it, we you know? It's like a science. This is teal. Mm -hmm. Like, borderline turquoise. There's like, some green on that for sure. yeah. And I'm just like, this I'm is baby blue. baby blue. Yeah. And then here's his lava drink. It's super cute. I think I'd put tequila in this. <laughs> There's a lemon right there. Oh, that's an orange probably, huh? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe like a vodka something. <laughs> but he's underage, so he doesn't do that. <laughs> because we know that underage people don't ever drink. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. What especially high school, especially high school boys. <laughs> These are his glasses. They're very generic, uh, but they've got like flames sculpted onto the top the sides. They're okay. Why not? Why not just the sides? Why don't you continue to the front? Like, they've done so many cool sunglasses. Especially the girls have really cool sunglasses this time around. Except for Dracular. Um, I'm just kind of like, okay. It's kind of just giving Ray-Bans. Yeah. And I don't know why he needs um, SPF. But, like, okay. This could have been a cell phone. Yeah. He doesn't have a cell phone. And that kind of really bothers me. <laughs> and now let's look at... The doll himself. He's so, so sweet. His eyes are very geometric. That's one thing that I've seen online that everyone's like being like, why are his eyes hexagons? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. But you, you know what, girl? Same. Why are his eyes hexagons? Yeah. But it might fit. It looks really sweet. He's, I like, again, my favorite thing about G3 are the really big ears. They're mm -hmm. so darling and so sweet. He's got no makeup, Avi. His lip color is really pretty, though. Like with some eyeshadow? Yes. He's so gorgine. And his flame-sculpted hair is so cute. It's, like, shaved on the sides. It's not flocked. It's just like, painted. But the, there is sculpting on the side of his head to make it, to make it look like hair. Yeah. yeah. His outfit is darling. It's, I mean, it's, it's a boy doll. Yeah. They're accessories to the girls at this point. In the doll world, we know that. He has the, the standard body. I wish he was shorter. No, rib? The boys no, have the rib. boys never have rib. I forgot about that. Someone was just like, since you're best friends with Mattel, can you... I was like, oh, yeah, let me just call him Mattel and be like, hey, can you give them rib articulation? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Be for Actually. real. Be for real. Uh, but this baby blue is really, really cute. His flames are darling. His skin color is way less yellow. Than his original doll. He's leaning orange, I would say. Yeah. He's like an orangey yellow. His original doll, I will say, I think original Heath has the better skin tone. Because he's so yellow. I don't know. I'm not a Heath person. Really? I'm super partial to Heath. I love him so much. And his shorts are basically the same pattern. You just don't get like the dark blue accents on it. Oh, they're cute. No pockets. No. Uh, this is a Monster High Doll girl. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he comes with sandals. I hate sandals <laughs> on boy dolls, but they have, like, they have, like, a print on them. This is the first time we're seeing them. Skelettes on the bottom. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to bring out original Heath. 
so we can compare. Oh, he's shorter. I don't know, you guys see, like, original Heath is a lot more, like, delicate looking, I would say. His features are a lot, like, pointier, softer. I don't know, can you be pointy and soft at the same time? Like, more elvish, you know? His ears are super pointed. I wish these ears were pointed. <laughs> I'm pissed. He's got, like, the actual, like, flame-shaped hair. I mean, so does Heath. Ugh. I don't know. I think that it's a very good translation. This outfit's obviously better. Um, with the jacket. I don't know. Is it better? I really don't mind this outfit at all. I have zero complaints for $17.99. I don't know. I think I, like... Now looking them next together, next to each other, I'm just like, I think I do like G3 better. <laughs> Cause like he's got more like color differentiation, you know what I mean? His lips, like his are like invisible. Yeah. But like he's got like shoes, but like it's almost the same pattern. Mm -hmm. And I hate these shoes. Like <laughs> I hate when boy dolls come with just like slip-ons. I'm like stinky. Anyways, that's it for Heath. What do you guys think? I I adore him. I don't know if he's my... We've gotten three. I think he is. I think he's my favorite boy doll so far. Between Claude, Deuce, and Heath. I like... I really like Heath. But I'm also, like, very of the moment. And my favorite dolls change all the time. <laughs> Objectively, I would say that Claude is the better doll. My favorite Claude. Still. But he's so cute. He's so baby girl. And especially when you... <laughs> ah! Like... <laughs> hey, mommy. <laughs> like, oh! It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. The only straight ship in my life is Abby and Heath. Uh, take one second longer. G1. Oh, Cleo and Deuce. <laughs> Whatever, Tony. <laughs> Just because Tony knows me better than myself. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on him. What are your... Out of 10, what would you give him? Um, for the price point. For the price point. If I, Would it be fair if I ranked him against the other boys? Sure. Like a six? Against the other boys. Do you like Deuce more than you like him? I think... I think my order goes Claude Deuce. Here. Oh no, poor guy. I mean, I'm looking at Deuce right now off camera. He's like right there. <laughs> and he's so beautiful. I don't know. I think that all the boys are really good this time around. I mean, they were really good the first time around. Oh. I'm just not a Heath person. Why? Now that we know he's the son of the devil. He's just, I don't know. I'm going to let you on a secret guy. though, but this is not my first time opening a Heath. <laughs> Uh, Chris, well, I opened my second Heath, and Chris made him these beautiful darling shoes. These are the BTS shoes from the, like, BTS lineup that was, like, uh, three years ago, I think. He painted them for me, because I hate, I'm telling you, I hate sandals and boy dolls. But, like... Yeah, how much more height he gets with actual shoes and stands. Yeah. But, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love him. I don't know. I guess I'm just... A, I'm a boy doll person, too. Yeah. So, there's that. Out of the three boys, I think I'd still only buy Claude. Mm. Well, then I'll let you know when he's on clearance. <laughs> so, let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye! Bye.